Hello guys, what's up? It's Bloomer here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to successfully ride and how to successfully basically do anything with these new mobs called the Strider. I made a video a week ago and I did not understand how to ride them properly, and today I'll be showing you guys how to actually ride them and how to use them successfully to basically transport anywhere across lava safely in Minecraft survival. If you guys are new to the channel, please leave a like and let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about this video as well. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe as I post content daily. And let's get started. All right, guys. So to even get started riding these things, one of the first things you're gonna need is a fishing pole and a warp fungus as well. Warp fungus can be found in the warp forest biomes and Minecraft survival in the nether, which is also part of the new 1.16 update as well. Warp forest biomes are the blue type forests where there's blue big mushrooms, log-like trees. And basically just to craft this, it's basically like a carrot on a stick you're gonna be getting the warped fungus on a stick. You're gonna also need a saddle as well. If you don't know how to find a saddle, saddles are pretty common in mine cart cave, or mine, whatever those caves are called, sorry. I do not know what they are, I am blanking right now. But the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do to even get them close to you is actually have a warped fungus in your hand. The fishing pole might work as well, but I know the warped fungus actually does attract them towards you. So to bring them towards you, you're gonna need a warp fungus. As said, if this guy comes towards me, we will just go towards him. And you're gonna to wanna to place a saddle, it's pretty easy. Just literally place it on him and then you can start mounting on him. And then you place the fishing pole. Basically it leads them wherever you want to go. It avoids from falling into the lava as well, which is pretty cool. There's no jumping or anything, which also kind of sucks about this as well, but it's an easy transportation across anywhere in the nether safely in lava. I'd watch out for gas though, as well as blaze, because they could still get to you as well. As well as these magma cubes as well, I would watch out for those as well. This does not look like a magma cube. What is this thing? Why is he not coming for me? Oh, it is also a strider, but he's like, okay, yes, it is a magma cube. I guess he's not gonna attack me, but I'm also in creative, so maybe he's not gonna attack me. But the next thing let's get into is actually breeding these mobs. You can breed these mobs as well and they give you a good amount of XP. In order to breed them, you're gonna need more than one of them, obviously. So let's get two of them here together. And in order to breed them, you're gonna need the warped fungi. So placing one on each puts them into love mode, basically gives them a baby. So another thing you guys can do with this mob as well is use speed potions on them. They actually make the mob much faster. I failed there at doing that. Let's see if we can get it there without mounting. There we go, that has affected him. And now he's running away. So now we could pretty much go a lot faster across the lava if you wanted to move any faster. And some behavior things with these striders as well. If they are outside of lava, they begin to shiver and go much slower as well. Sometimes you can see them glitching outside of lava. I don't know if it's a glitch or if they just accidentally spawn there, but that is also another thing that happens with these mobs as well. There's also sometimes zombified piglins that ride on these as well, pretty much like a skeleton on a spider. And those are pretty dangerous in my opinion if you see them, the zombified pinklins doing that. And to find these striders in general, pretty much any lava, main lava, they only spawn below level 31 on the Y level, which lava right now that we are at is at 32. So, well, he's at 31 and I'm at 32. So anywhere below Y31, these striders will spawn for you. The next thing I'm going to get into here is the loot that is actually dropped by these strider mobs. Although it's kind of unsafe to do if they're in lava, you are gonna lose your string, which is what they drop. With looting three, you have a chance of getting zero to eight string. And then just with a basic sword, it's pretty much probably zero to three string. They're actually pretty hard to kill. As you can see there, 
he dropped the string in the lava. So it's also pretty pointless to kill unless you really need string. You're gonna need to get them towards land so they do not drop their string in the lava, which is basically a waste of your time if you're really needing that string. Anyways, that is it for today's video and tutorial on how the striders work in the 1.16 update for Minecraft. Hope you guys liked this video, and if you guys did, please leave a like below and let me know what you guys think on this video as well. And if you're new to my channel, as always, please leave a subscription, and I will be posting some more content every day as I have been. See you guys later.